my god I speak and up speak Don't sweat the technique I always sound like I'm asking questions Even when I'm not, so don't make a suggestion Even though I am, cause I need validation I don't judge, so don't judge me I mean I do, but I mean I wouldn't judge you I'm that shit, banana split personality I'm cuckoo, duh I'm confused, how can I not be? No apologies I don't understand this world, this shit's fucking deep Everybody got zero fucks to give And no one gives a shit Nobody, including myself, I guess that makes me a hypocrite Wow, don't ask me to pick a side, half black, half white Italian father, Afro mother, when asked to choose, I just choose other I'm a mixed nut yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I know what it is that I can't do. I I can't do it. He was like, really? And I was like, really? And they were like, really? And we were like, really? Duh, I'm confused. How can I not be? It's not funny. I don't understand this world. This shit's really deep. Really? Everybody got the fuck to give. No one gives shit. Nobody, including myself. I guess that makes me a hypocrite. Wow. Don't ask me to pick a race from half outer space. Martian father, earthling mother, when asked to choose, I just choose other. I'm a mixed nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my neighborhood is in bed style. Just saying. What are you saying? Just saying. What? I'm a mixed nut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. It's me, Kevin Von Esper. Yes, I know I don't have my shirt and tie on tonight, but I'm going, you know, with my Imani Coppola shirt, which used to be white, and maybe I'll tell you later why it's not. But if you know me, you probably already know why it's not. Today, we have Imani Coppola, or we're going to find out if it's Coppola because I heard some family say it differently when I was digging through some archive stuff. And this is going to be a lot of fun because this is going to be one of those episodes where I can sort of weave in a little bit of my story because we've done a lot of work together. And well, let's just bring her on. Are you ready to go? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. All right. You can see me? I can. Oh, yes. Hey. Hello. Hey. How so I decided doing? to do it on the toilet after you just told me that ah. we were going to be doing this for two hours. I'm like, you might as well just get comfortable, pull your pants down, and sit on the toilet. Well, if I hope you don't mind. You... I... No, we we've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to have to pee, so I might as well just sit right on the toilet. I love this. This is um, this is a nobody has done that before. This is unique to this episode. How are you? And but we we have been here before. How did you get that shirt? I those shirts were made. Who um, made that? Apparently, I want one. I would you like this one? <laughs> I like I, it pink though. I I remember it being white. Oh come on! You know how this got pink. Oh my god! <gasps> Wait, was it the Guar show? Yeah, it was the Guar Holy show. Crap. And I oh think I got this from uh, the Kickstarter or whatever you did for this album came with like, I, I, I wasn't a part of whatever. Um, I yeah, well, you like... had t-shirts. Tell us the Sorry. Guar story. Um, hold on. I have to, there's a cat at my window. I just gotta wipe uh -oh. my vagina. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> is, well, is the, side the Guar story was, um, 
what was this there is no story it was halloween night right there's a little bit of a story there was it i was had halloween like a night. cast on because i i had just had fucking hand surgery or was i getting ready to have hand surgery so remember i came okay we'll we'll talk about this in more detail later but we made uh, a little documentary Remember we made a documentary? Oh, oh, right. Imitation of Insanity. That's, that that's I, right. I took down. Yes, I know. I, I want to put it back up. I, the, the reason we'll, I took it we'll down talk is about because it. I was, I was we'll trying to... We'll play the trailer at least. But, uh, but, 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 let me finish. I was yes. trying to date people. And unfortunately, people do an extensive amount of research on other people before they date. And then they would fucking land on that. Right. And yes. it was like... Definitely and what I was... a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, everything I yeah. fucking put out is a fucking deal breaker. It's not good I don't know. Me. The new video doesn't seem like a deal breaker. Ugh, fuck. I hate I'm so hot all the time. Excuse me for raising my voice, but it's Please. aggravating. And, and I'm stuck in the fucking toilet with my pants down. And I could, oh, the fan is right there. And it could just be blowing in here. Just, can we put on another video while I... Pull up my sure. Pants. Um, Great. let's play the trailer for the documentary since we're talking oh, about Oh yeah, it. hey, hey, right. on topic. Oops. I'm lying. That's the music video. <laughs> it's one. this one. <laughs> my uh, official documents of insanity. The presence of her emotional support cat. <laughs> it's my first day on lithium and clonopin. So many nights laying here just visualizing myself poisoning dogs. I was shooting neighbors. It came out as a hashtag me too. It came out as a hashtag. I fell and I severed a nerve. Ah. I got dark. I got lonely. Oh. I'm sitting in my kitchen killing roaches and hopping over rats. Part of the reason that I got all of this done is because I've been alone. <laughs> You can do this! And you know if you just focus with hyper focus, you can make anything happen. It's time for you to stop lying to your therapist. It just It's it a great me, trailer. It makes me emotional to watch it because I remember, you know, where I was mentally. It was pretty dark. I was place. not in a yeah. good fucking place then, dude. No. And what I wanted I was, to say ugh. was if there's anything about, you know, that you are with me is comfortable on camera <laughs> being bra and on the toilet. Well, you are, <laughs> you are so innocuous. <laughs> is that the right word? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the actual definition it's, of that I, word is. I think it's just fucking harmless. You're just so harmless. You have like no sexuality to you. Like, sorry. Oh no! You're, like completely asexual. I, I think well, I think <laughs> at least have one person in the chat who would disagree with that. But oh, people are watching us. This is live, Imani. But that doesn't mean people are watching, dude. Not a lot of people, but there's, you know, there's a couple there people go. in there. Let's see. Let's yeah. see the comments. That was a fun I'm video. Not, Thank I'm you. Not, we made... I'm not that nervous uh, to have okay. two people watching us. And Blazing anyone trail. watching me on the toilet, you want to watch me in the bathtub? I'm sure it'll be a little more exciting. Uh, ah, we, not well, there. we got to keep it at least PG-13 for YouTube, oh, okay. but you know. Can I curse? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, I for this can. show, a toilet and a mini fridge are your best friends. She's so pretty. Oh, thanks. Please do That's not read I the said. fucking comments. In fact, is there a setting where I, I can't read comments? I become uh, subconscious. I can't be myself anymore. Just okay. Please, audience, do not say shit until the well, end. Okay. And if I were to play a live show, because of, just shut the fuck up, Kevin. If I were to play a live show. <laughs> I would ask the audience to hold their applause because applause scares the shit out of me. It triggers me and it fucking annoys me. That's why you can't, you won't see me at a show. And that Guar show, <laughs> right, circling the Guar back show. to the Guar, whatever the fuck, it was terrifying because, I mean, it was entertaining as hell, but people get very, very aggro in that crowd. And I felt them start up their mosh pit and I was trying to protect my hands, and 
I just got really nervous and I just felt like someone was going to die. And I was like, I, I better get out of here. I was, I was like, you know, close to having a panic attack. So, right. Yeah. So it's like one of the were... last nights I went outside and I'm, I'm just going to keep on cutting you off. I love crosstalk. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's, it's like an annoying nervous tick. It'll stop in as yeah. the conversation, you know, develops. Yeah. That's, that's how it usually goes here. Usually it's yeah. me cutting people off. So don't worry about it. Uh, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. Well, it's kind of like I have to be responsible for the flow of conversation at some level. So the heavy flow. The he well, <laughs> that that's you, I think. The heavy flow. <laughs> no, my heavy flow. There's no way in hell we would have had this live chat. Well, no, that's day. why that's why it was postponed. <laughs> yeah, I was sorry. Sorry. I it's okay. Like it's you. for the better. It's for the better. I, I I'd rather you. What's uh, up, Kevin? I like situation. seeing you like putting music out and like getting up before like four yeah. p.m. It's 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 inspiring. Well, I'm happy. That's for because you. I have a job. On, on days I'm off, I'm I'm usually not up before four p.m. Right. You're still sleeping in. But I have a very early job, and yes, thank you for mentioning. I just put out a record, and Imani Coppola's on it, so you should oh. come get it. Look, these are all hand-drawn covers. If you want one, I'll give you one. Me? Are you talking? Yeah, to I'm talking, talking to you. Um, Everyone else gotta buy one. Nice. Uh, on can I not camp. buy one and not be given one as <laughs> well? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people I don't, don't have a want CD player. Stuff. Nobody freaking wants CDs, I know, but man. it's art. It's art. It's original. Fuck you're your on art. here. Yeah. God damn, you're harsh. I, I, dude. I mean, I'm not a great artist. It's more of the personal DIY touch that I'm trying to sell here. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate the D, um, it yourself. <laughs> dick it, <laughs> dick it down. Yeah. Can we talk about sexual stuff? I'm bored sure. already. Or, wait, are we going to talk about art? I when was the last time you got laid. Not nah, in a yeah, while. Skip, skip. <laughs> I have a feeling. What about you? Uh, <laughs> pass. Yeah, pass. yeah. Like with myself or uh can well we, no. can we include that? Uh no, I think that doesn't count. Oh, oh god. <laughs> skip. Skip, skip. Well, what do you want to talk two about? Two weeks ago, have... all right. Two weeks. Okay, ago. that's pretty that's not two, bad. Two, 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 two weeks and three days maybe two days i don't know it was sober too not bad right came in my ass nice. all right well next topic well we talked about that <laughs> um geez well i have no <laughs> i don't know where to go from here where do we go oh. so oh my uh, voice is fucked right now because why I'm, I'm having a moment of complete self-sabotage like i want to ruin my talents I'm fucking exhausted. So I'm trying to like purposefully ruin shit. Like it's funny to me. It's a joke. Like, but um, but then what the fuck would I do in life? Like I would just be a drunk. Like you might as well preserve some some part of you that's fucking see we, good. we get although we're not together physically right now, it seems like we get Where together every go? once there a year. Yeah, or I got so, I got the, then, I got like, the note right. I think I'm just in a weird sitting position. I'm on a fucking toilet. Sorry. Ah! Sorry. Go ahead. When you start talking, I'm just going to let you go. But I want to hear your your monotone voice more. <laughs> I want to hear your very <laughs> mellifluous voice. <laughs> okay. At any point, if I get, like, Kevin, we're so familiar with each other. Like, yeah. I, I was concerned That's about what it. I was trying to convey here, is that, right. like, when we do get together, it's always like when you're really, I don't know, fucking shit up for yourself. <laughs> it's kind of like. Huh? You're talking about. Your, oh, my self-sabotage? Your self-sabotage. Oh, you your, think your... I'm self-sabotaging right now? Yeah. You just said in you were. Way? Oh, well, not currently. No, just like in my Really? Daily you're not sabotaging the show? Solitude. How is this? I'm making it better, dude. Exactly. I mean, yeah. what, what is, what is, I, I think, I don't know. What do you, what happens on this show? Who watches this show? Why do you have this show? Is it just well, something to do? Are you getting paid for this? No, not yet. No, I wish. Like, it originally what, started. How are you going to get paid for this? Like, let's, let's brainstorm ideas of how to make this show better. First of all, 
all of your guests should be on the toilet. Um, all of your guests should have at least either two peas or one poop during the course of your live stream. Um, and your backdrop has to be rethought. It changes, depend. You know, it changes. I don't know. All right, what are you trying? This is my party with setting. This? What? What is the theme? Like, are what are we, are we talking about? Art, politics, music. Well, in general, or in this sex, limited sex, series, it's the last time you got fucked. Because well, when I started this, is because I was promoting my documentary project. The life and slimes of Dookie Flyswatter and Haunted Garage. Wow. And I had gotten so used to doing podcasts every day, sometimes like one to three a day, that I just figured I could do this and I could do this probably podcast. better. You and every, every, fucking everybody and their goddamn fucking grandmother has a podcast. Yes, what but it's also a special? vehicle. Okay, well, first of all, it's a vehicle where I can showcase a lot of art or videos that I've made for people that have not been seen it's in a an long intimidation. time i'm not an asshole this is an intimidation tactic that i'm very aware of when i it happens when i'm nervous i try to scare so i don't feel as scared it's really juvenile and i'm sorry i'll chill the fuck out and i'm also hot i have to adjust this fan ah! the toilet oh, no. just popped up i'm not actually sitting with my pants down anymore but it does that here i'm gonna go Ah, okay, I'm back. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. How are you? You asked for it, bitch. You I best. did. I asked for it. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel sorry for me. The world. <laughs> the world <laughs> is just not saw in my a great cousin. Place. He just said something very funny. It's like, Imani, your outer voice is my inner voice. <laughs> Meaning I basically say whatever the fuck most people are thinking right. and just don't say out loud. But you, you are bold Ooh. enough to go there. It's just, I don't give a fuck anymore. And it's not like, it's just, it's a personal, I don't give a fuckness. It's not, I don't give a fuck about the world. It's just like at a certain point in your life, you've tried everything and everything did not work, you know? Be who the fuck you are and fuck everyone else. Seriously, this is your fucking life. If you're not laughing at the end of the day, I don't even fucking hold my farts in when I'm walking down the street anymore. I just announce, got a fart, sorry, and I let it fucking rip. You know what? Who the fuck cares? It's not like I'm embarrassing anyone. I'm not even embarrassing myself. It's fucking performance art. People find it to be hilarious. Honesty is like the last fucking frontier of comedy. I'm just like, just be honest. And people are just, it's shocking to people. And that entertainment, that entertains me. And if I'm not fucking entertained and I'm bored, there's no point in living. And I, I just got, you gotta keep it. Then there's times where I'm annoyed with myself. like. Shut up, Iman. Fucking. It's an inner struggle. No, it's an no. outer struggle. I'm constantly talking to myself out loud. I'm very out about it. I'm very public about it. Um, people don't know who the fuck I'm talking to because everyone's kind of talking to themselves with these ear things. That's true. That's true. But uh, it's just full license for me to just have full on conversations, arguments with myself. And also, it because they're noise canceling, it. It reduces my awareness of how loud I'm talking. <laughs> the shit that comes out of my mouth sometimes makes people, passerbyers, laugh. Like, and I don't know. I just, I, I like funny lately. I just, I think I'm just so broken and empty inside. Like, if I'm not fucking cracking up, I will just fucking, uh, you know, I don't want to have the suicide conversation but why can't we just accept that suicide's okay why can't we just normalize and make it okay more people should be killing themselves <laughs> what about euthanasia yeah i'm totally for that like 100 percent. and i think people who are suicidal should also be able to have you know have assistance um 
that is a very radical uh is it radical though like because in the end you're living for others and that's not fair is it like the only reason i don't off myself is so my mom doesn't have to suffer more in her life because she's been through a lot of shit all right this is getting dark i'm really i'm not even depressed i'm just on prozac and and yes what drugs are you on today um prozac and i took a clonopin earlier because this is usually when i take it but i start slurring words when i take it so I, I was i just took it like way earlier and i also knew i had to go outside at night and i have a very very uh advanced fucking phobia of rats right now and i'm not talking to anyone about it i'm not in therapy for it and it's just getting really uncomfortable to live with it because i don't go out at night anymore and it gets dark very early now so there's a lot of it's just gonna be a long fucking winter and i stopped reading books and that used to help you and stopped my my stop i quit books i just congratulations no it's like first of all it's my eyes are shot <laughs> by the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive of your destructive lifestyles. I want to get back in. I just have no fucking attention span, dude. It's it's a problem. It's 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 really a problem, and it's like I'm letting it kind of take control, just like the rat shit and a lot of things in my life. I'm just I stopped trying to have control over certain things because um, it was frustrating. But you know what's more frustrating? do tell i don't know i think i just need to get out of the city I yeah think it's that's city. probably something it's loud it's fucking constant noise. i mean i got out of the city are you still there out yeah i'm still out nice. i don't really miss it i mean i drive in when i have to you know once a mm. week yeah. or every two weeks or whatever it's like facebook i quit it and i just did not miss it or withdraw from it at all i'm wondering if that'll be the same when i leave the city and i didn't say if i said when but then i yeah. also have this phobia of just being alone in the woods and you know freaking out about bears instead of rats you know at least here you could and also you just stick out like a sore fucking thumb when you're single you're brown no kids no dude just a weird fucking lady in paint clothes in a house talking to herself all day long and making duck sounds but you always made duck sounds that's not new i don't know i'm i have a fear of leaving the city that's for sure it's the, the lack of diversity you have a fear of staying and a fear of leaving oh yeah that's just yeah. how it's gonna be i have to live in this duality and i think but you get out for I, pockets don't you you get out yeah like... I, I get out and i'm i'm always out when i'm out of this country i just i don't like america period you know we're not in a great place <laughs> yeah are you going to move to a different country is that the goal yeah but i i just don't have the financial means or right. the emotional um energy to to fucking move to another country that's a big feat dude yeah especially when you're carrying so much mental shit like you don't know i don't know my next fucking three month depression is going to be or bipolar mania and end up fucking everyone in, 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 in on the island of Iceland. Is Iceland an island? I could Just, not tell you. I, I, I don't have those moments. I'm, I don't I'm think so, anymore. but I don't, I, I am not know. as promiscuous, but when I had mania in like my thirties, I was, I was just, I wanted to like, <sighs> get back at men by fucking them. I don't even know how that makes sense, but I did it work. I think it, no, it just no. hurt me. You know, stupid. Anyway, uh, so I decided for myself I was going to use this as a form of therapy. That's what I generally do when I'm. I don't even know what this is. Is this an interview? Are you going to ask me a question at some point? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, if you stop talking, you I'll, let I'll me fucking ramble and ramble. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna let you go. I mean, I'm usually when we go, talk, uh, it's like a therapy session. I feel like so. Yeah, that's I think true. we're due yeah, for we this because we had a lot of yeah, those. yeah, you used we, to be my therapist. Dude. I was your therapist basically. Oh, that's wow. how this documentary came about, and right. then it seems like we just kind of get into that routine like once a year, and it's almost right. been a year since I saw you because we did I that was Christmas your therapist video one night. Yeah. I told you a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we had the Christmas video, which was a lot of fun. I was sweating the whole time. I was sitting on an ice pack. I remember I was sitting on an ice pack because I was just overheating. Yeah. It's that... part of it's a Prozac side effect, by the way. Hmm. I tried a, a mood stabilizer um, called Lamictal. Tried it for two days. First day, I couldn't really feel anything. Second day, I was just, I just could not get happy. I was just gloomy. I I even cried. I'm like, how the fuck is this stabilizing my mood? It's supposed to lift my mood. So uh, I didn't take it today because I wanted to just have some sort of understanding of who I was going to be for this and not, you know, some zombie or like gloomy gloom girl. You're not, I, so I you're not, you're, this is not you being gloomy. <laughs> No, not at all. Oh, okay. Just me being uppy and and peppy and caffeinated, and I'm gonna be up all night because of it. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate. I know, it. and I'm gonna be thinking about you and resenting the fuck out of you when it's like five a.m. and I'm like, uh, maybe by that time I'll just pop a Benadryl. And just yeah. See, there's out. drugs for that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I You'll be fine. Definitely do that. It's not. It's dangerous when I don't sleep. It's fucking dark. Well, we don't want least. anything dangerous for you. No, tomorrow's cleaning day. I have to clean for a fucking Airbnb, guys. Shit's getting pretty played out. Um, but I have to do it right now. It's supplementing it's my only income. You mean music per periodic doesn't fucking pay the bills? <laughs> huh, huh, huh. I can't uh. even laugh. Um, By no, the I way, go buy it. Monty's new then. album, yeah, sixty yeah, bucks. Yeah. On well, it has fucking sixty-two songs on it, bitch. It's, it's true. worth sixty yeah. bucks. It is. I, I'll buy. I'm gonna buy it eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want your fucking goddamn emojis. I want your money, bitches. Stop liking my posts and buy my shit. Yeah, hear that? On oh, Bandcamp. On Bandcamp Fridays. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm not mad at the world. I'm not mad at anyone. I just like to be in bed tuning out to like some bullshit on TV by this time of night. This is way past my bed. Yes, I'm in bed at 7 p.m. every day and whatever. I'm, I'm an old lady, guys. Men, women, people out there. I'm an old fucking lady with a cat. That doesn't go out. And a side night. cat. And then at a certain point in your day, you just gotta figure out what to, to like unwind and stop doing shit just to get through your day like it, that's you are responsible for every fucking moment of your day obviously you got chores you got shit to do you got bills to pay you got work to get done but in between all those moments you know there are just gaps it's like what the fuck now <sighs> so i play a word game or i listen to a pod Cast or... A podcast like I this? Very... No, I listen. I don't watch podcasts. I, I and I resent people that make you watch podcasts. The beauty of a podcast is it's all sound. It's not there. The, something becomes distorted and convoluted when an image is attached. Like I don't know. I like I have an easier time thinking and being articulating what I'm thinking when I'm not looking at a fucking screen, you know, it like scrambles That's fair. my truth. I mean, people don't have to watch this. They can just listen to it. Yeah, but we have to look at each other, don't we? Or can I shut my camera off? No, no, no. no come on. I, miss, I miss your Kevin face. I oh. miss my Kevin face. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Yo. Yes. By the way, Kevin's a fucking brilliant bass player. And oh, it thank always you. surprises me every time I see you fucking rocking out on that bass. I'm like, 
I forget that you're a musician and you're uh, yeah, a that's like my that's one. like that's why I, I have this podcast so I can remind people that I do shit. Right. Because yeah, yeah. when I have these projects, they take like two, three years to fucking complete. And it's like, well, people just forgetting about that I do stuff, right. you know. So this is a way to just like about Dre. throw it out there. I don't have to edit anything, it's content, yeah. whatever. Remind right. people that like Hey, you can buy my new CD featuring Armani <laughs> Coppola on vonesper.bandcamp.com. You're really good at that. I'm that. I just cursed people out and said, motherfucker, stop leaving your fucking emojis and stop leaving your dollars. <laughs> well, I'm getting, you know, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> it's, so. it's been since 2014 since I released an album. So it's been a while. 2014 yeah yeah that's a, that's a while that's a while it's like eight years yeah fuck i just released three albums in the past two months <laughs> yeah do you want to <laughs> talk about it no i don't i, I really fucking don't uh, okay well i i want to talk about it a little bit uh, that, especially sorry. that new little jackie stuff is fucking okay, brilliant sorry. Aw, thanks. I First remember just seeing your Instagram stories while you were developing those songs, and I couldn't wait nice. for it. Oh, cool. It's That's, so I, funny. I appreciate It's that. like, it's, I don't want to use the word edgy, but it's explicit and hilarious, nah, and sorry. everyone should check it out. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. I was hoping it would stir shit up a little, but as always. Well, I didn't even know it was out until, like, yeah, that's the thing. Out. No one knows shit. Like I, so, I'm not hiring a publicist. Exactly. I, yeah. And and I decide whenever the, you know, that I just like released. You dropped out sixty two yesterday. Was that yesterday? yesterday? And I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Man. You know why I did that? Because my fucking my bank account was in the negatives. I'm like, fuck. Like I have a business bank account. If it if it's uh, less than a hundred, they penalize me. So it's just like this fucking cycle of getting penalized. I'm like. Yeah. So I just put out 60 songs and I put the money in my account. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm back. Good. And I got some royalties. Not as much as I used to get, but enough to not have to release 60 songs every three days to right. keep my account in the out of the red. Yeah. I know. Life I'm, as I'm not too is. far away from that. I had a negative bank account a couple of days ago myself. So I'm there yeah. with you. Yeah. And I have a it's, job. It's fucking you know, embarrassing. It builds it built, <laughs> character, though. It built like it really didn't bother me. I just like snapped into hustle mode, and you know, right. yeah. um, and I grew up poor. You didn't have money. I know how to. I know how to have money, and I know how to not have money. It, like either way is, I mean, it's a little uncomfortable, you know. But it's it's like no one's dead, and you, it's almost certain you have exactly all that you need at your fingertips already like there's you don't need maybe a few days late with a bill i didn't even go through that discomfort it, it was just we take a lot for granted you know or i do i don't want to lump you into this sh my shit <laughs> well I'll, I'll agree if i agree i'm just say. saying generally all americans take shit for granted you know i just helped a friend out who She's been working her ass off uh, making a salon, this brick and mortar, because she just got a grant um, called Project Headway, which gives haircuts. She gives haircuts to homeless people because it's a nice gesture. They can't afford it. And they, they walk around looking like fucking shit. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. my excuse? <laughs> anyway, she was in a shitty position where, you know, she's got three kids and she her she had no fucking money. And I was like, she was crying. She was upset, and it was heartbreaking. I'm like, "Here, have money. Like, I have, I have extra right now. I don't have three kids. Have fucking. It's, it's not a lot, but take it. I don't want to hear you cry about money. I don't want to hear anyone cry about money. All I did was hear my fucking mom cry about money growing up, and them argue about it. I fucking hated it, and I always knew that I would somehow get by, you know, because I just. I don't like being in a chokehold because of financial fucking uh, um, limitations, you know? Fuck you. This is my fucking life. If I only have $400 in my bank account, I'm buying a ticket to Iceland. <laughs> I don't give right, a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
fuck you. You're not the boss of me. I'll figure my shit out when I get back, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, and it also, it just makes you work harder at being creative and innovative when right. you're not working with a budget, you know, that video. A budget. Dynamite, oh, I would love yeah, a budget. A budget. <laughs> I used to have a budget. It was ridiculous. And these videos weren't even that great. And there was hundreds of thousand dollars put into them. And I just made one of my favorite videos with my friend Keith Major. Zero budget. Can we talk about Zero the video? Zero freaking budget. <laughs> and all just like, and, and all in real time, let's, let's make this better. We only have two shots and there was just a lot of blank space. I'm like, why don't I just fill it up? Just like some, drop some knowledge and shit. And... Yeah, sure, we could talk about it. Uh, I'm going to try to pull it up. What was the song called again? Vagina Might. Vagina Might. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, you'll get. Yeah, I, we should talk about this. Do you oh, want to play it and then we talk yeah, about it? Yeah, I'll play it. Do you All want right, me to cool. play? Or oh, we could run commentary over it. Uh, unless yeah, you, you need a break. <laughs> well, I was planning on taking a break anyway. Um, okay. I'm play the video uh, just because I'm fucking overheating and I want to get my ice pack and sit on it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, let me pull great. up the video. See, that's what's great about these shows is I can just pull up shit and whatever. And, and whatever we're talking breaks. about. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, I have ads cool. just in case, you know, I need to do that too for myself because I am my own sponsor on this show so far. You know, it's like, if you're watching, you're also going to figure find out all the fucking shit I can do so you can pay me to do it. You know what I mean? Um, what am I trying to do here? Okay. Why do you deserve to be paid for what you do? Why? I mean... Is that a general I, question or to me specifically? Curiosity. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to understand why certain people feel they're entitled to getting paid and why certain people do it for the love of it and why certain people get paid and they don't deserve to no get paid. well it's more like i do it for the love of it and i just uh -huh. hope that it makes right. me money you know right okay that, but that's... also i am so totally willing to sell out you need a song i'll write you a song you know i feel you i feel you it's you like know, hey yeah, these are my moments... skills my album this album is like a calling card it even says it like the the lyrics on this are obvious it's like hey this is a bunch of shit i can do so you can hire me to do that too you know who, That's what who are you talking is. to who's gonna hire you anyone who who's are you listening talking to like a youtuber a 14 year old what he's gonna hire you for a birthday party no i doubt i don't think 14 to is my demo shit? what do you what do you want what explicitly do you want to get paid for? I would what do you want to get like bass lessons? Like tell, give the universe some guidelines here and, and that narrow it down. Don't just be sure. like, pay me for what I do. Well, I tell can write you songs. You Thank I you. can oh, by the way, make videos. You do not get paid ever. You get paid in the back end if the song ever does anything. Yeah, so. I don't mind. All right, you make videos. I'd love to good. license good, 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 good. Uh, for TV. I know you know license a little bit about okay. that. Do you know? Do you know about Taxi? The the do it yourself fucking. No, licensing? I I need to learn about it. Tell me about learn, it. Learn, bitch. Okay. Um. Now taxi. I have an album. I can market. Sign, sign up for it. It's like a hundred dollars, and then you gotta unfortunately you have to pay money to pitch your songs to shit. Um, I was on it for five minutes. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, but so it might be good for you. <laughs> Wait, why? Why isn't that good for you though? Because what was so fuck you about it? All right. Well, I didn't ask for like critiques on my songs. I they give you like this freaking. Well, this hook is not strong enough here, and we believe that the lyric is a little too blah. blah. I'm like, hell, take no. it or leave it, bitch. Fuck you. This is not the right service for me. Right. And I don't, I don't need a, a, a lesson in, in song structure. I need you to fucking get this to a music supervisor's freaking email, you know? And at this point, taxi is just not for me. Like I've worked with too many publishers and supervisors to have to stoop that low. And I don't, maybe that's an ego thing, or maybe that's just experience. It's Could just not for me. It's just not for me at all. Like I haven't got my money back. 
I was <laughs> like, never in my life have I had to pay to pitch a song. Well, that is a blind the... spot. For it's me. just another fucking way this. to rip off artists, and that's all they do is rip off desperate fucking artists, and it's pathetic. You fall for it. You buy this bullshit. You go to their fucking conferences and you schmooze with them. And you're never going to get a fucking sink. I don't give a shit. It's just, it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't. You got to know the right people, unfortunately. Maybe we can talk about this quickly now because I did want to talk about it. Um, You do have a stink. I'm upset because I'm I'm having like nicotine withdrawal. So I might get a little animated. Do you want to have a cigarette? No, I don't because my energy is going to go. And I'm going to want to go to bed. So okay, I'll have one after we're finished Um, our chat. I did want to. Let's talk about this briefly then, because I wanted to mention it anyways. Oh God. Yeah. Oops. What about where'd it? you go? There you are. Oh, there you go. So uh, uh, and this is funny because and it, it's it's on a movie. What what's your question? Well, we're talking about sinking. How did you get a sink for oh, fucking God. Marvel? You're gonna little Jackie's gonna be in the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Well, once That's upon a time, uh about I guess. I don't know. Whenever I was in Little Jackie 2008, nine, I wrote a song called Mrs. Claus and Target used it for a commercial, bid a big Christmas campaign. And when, you know, this the sync company I was using then was called uh, Zinc. Uh, now they're Round Hill Zinc with a Z. Um, and they asked me, you know, I don't know. They asked me to write something. So I was like, I was like, yes. And not only was I like, yes, I was like, bitch, you have to fucking nail this. There is no, there is no room for error here. You're going to fucking nail this commercial. And uh, I did it with that frame of mind because I needed money. And it was, it was a nice, it was a nice paycheck, you know? Yeah. And residuals. Um, Mm -hmm. Uh, if I was smart, I would have put a down payment on a house. You mean but... you didn't do it for exposure? <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. I just spaced out. Oh, because I feel like, don't feel like talking about this. Oh, right. Okay. So that's well, song. we don't have to no, talk no, about no, no, it. No, 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 no. Just briefly, let's, let's get back. Because I want to I want to go into the inside, the, the fucking guts yes. of, of what it is to get a sink. And how it's not really anything you could ever get excited about until you see that shit on the fucking TV and you hear your song. Because at the very last minute, they could pull that shit. Right. You could you could sign the shit. First of all, they have like you, you get paid within sixty to one hundred and twenty days. This deal has been on the table since two thousand, dude. Two thousand, and it just kept on getting postponed because of COVID. Um, two thousand. Yeah, 2000. So here I 20. am. Okay, I get X amount of dollars and I don't, and, and within the next three years, I'm going to get this fucking money. Um, not to sound ungrateful, but it. I mean, 2020? Certain, you can't plan shit when you just never know when the fuck you're getting paid. It's, that's why I just kind of, I'm just, I seem aggravated, but it's a very aggravating industry, you know? Um, so should we talk to you in 120 days when that ch- paycheck comes in? Yeah, and I'm just going to pay back the SBA fucking loan that, you know, the government granted me during COVID, which is great, by the way. So nice. Like, oh, freeze everything? <laughs> Unemployment? Yo, that was like my first steady check ever. <laughs> Unemployment? Life. Yeah. I, Yo, sure. Ever. I was like, this is awesome. I have hives. I don't know if it's. All right, we're gonna play this video so you can go. Okay, do right. Your thing. I'm getting distracted. I'm just gonna give my wrist a rest because I'm. I yeah, don't yeah. Have we're gonna play the little jacket. All right, the great. All right, I remember. Thank you, Kevin. Of course. Oops. It's an act of domestic terrorism. Prime example of white male egotism. This pussy is vagina mine. It'll blow you up like dynamite. Yeah. This uterus retaliates. You will feel the wrath and see the rage. Put it in a cage and when you lock that box, you're blocking your own cock. Ha. Good luck getting your to Cause my pussy is 
Solar Company's nasty little so, secret. So, if uh, anyone was here just expecting Legend of a Cowgirl, you're welcome. Slash, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you just hear that weird advertisement? Yeah, it was coming on after okay. the video. I just, I thought it was a. Uh, it was from YouTube. Thought... Okay, cool. Yeah. So there that was, was fun. folks. That was v vagina mite. Uh, did you like it? Mm -hmm. I had I fun it. doing it. I had fun. It was fun. It was exhausting. It shooting is exhausting as you get older. Um, the preparation for it. There's a lot of prep, believe it or not. I know it looks like a simple video, but you got and I was so lazy about it. Like Keith was kicking me. He's like, Monty, we got we gotta shoot, we gotta talk about this concept, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. And I pretty much waited for like just the last minute to put wardrobe together and figure out how I was going to move my body. And then right on the set, I was like, I should take my underwear off because it's about vagina, you know? Let's be as racy as we can here without exposing my pussy. Um, I think, yeah, that that's It's success, pretty ballsy. Success, because, yeah. I mean, these girls are doing everything with their asses, you know? They're all about fucking twerking and their big asses. Pussy, motherfuckers. Get into the pussy. <laughs> if there's one takeaway from this uh this episode there it is yeah get into the pussy yeah so that's that's what he said so he that's said. what the little, little jackie is like <laughs> not all of it that's that's like the only song that is overtly sexual and and i'm no, doing it that's like definitely not true way. Well, a few of them are okay, fine, but they're generally like, "What about eat everything?" I'm talking about right. No, there's eating. a there's a balance there. It's all hilarious though. Like it's all got that that dirty humor. It's 
I like it's, dirty it's, old lady. I think it's you're I, I'm like dirty old lady, dude. Yeah, I I, you're you're being very comfortable lady. in that role, and that's what I love seeing about. I me. think I th this is the role of my life. I was meant to be dirty old lady, Imani. Day drinking, smoking cigarettes, and 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 like just just fucking starting fires. Well, I definitely did want to talk a little bit about little Jackie because I actually I went into my archive <laughs> and uh, I have some exclusives here if I'm allowed to play them. Yeah. I made some shit for this episode. Oh, because you. remember all prepping. Yeah, yeah, I prepped a bunch of stuff for this. I prepped by especially. drinking coffee at five. Well, that's fair. You, but you prepped by being yourself for. You know, I've known you for like fifteen years now. I know. It's, that's fucking it, nuts. It is nuts. And how did we meet? Like you were at a show or something? No. Well, the first time. So I totally missed Legend of a Cowgirl. All my friends know the song, but I had never heard it before. Uh, but I got into you, or I discovered you through Peeping Tom. I saw Peeping Tom. Right. That's right. Which is a band that you had with Mike Patton. Mm -hmm. Or you in, uh, I saw you were at the Warsaw in Brooklyn. Ah. And then I got into, you know, you, I got into Dub Trio, you know, I got, I did but, my but, research. Like, did we meet on MySpace? Yeah. And then I think I'm, <laughs> so I discovered, then I, I went to your profile and I heard your, so do you, can you guess, just based on that era, what the first solo Imani Coppola song I ever heard was? Um, Woke Up White. Woke Up White. Oh, I yeah. thought, I still think it's probably the most punk rock song of the whole decade. Thank you. Thank you. And I was like, holy shit. And then I got the Black and White album, and the whole album was like, holy shit. Thanks. And that's yeah, kind of that was... like what i like to do with like my, my new album it's like every song is a different genre like you don't know what you're yeah. gonna get next and that's kind of like what kind of album that was it wasn't even on purpose it's just how that's why little jackie comes in handy for me because i don't produce it right adam does and it stays in one genre and that's helpful for me otherwise i just i can't like i love it all fucking mm -hmm. love it all and uh i gotta get my point across and one Here, genre. Me, I think I can play this in the service. That's McNutt. Uh, oh, it's I have to wake up, woke up white here somewhere. I don't think there's a video for it. And if there, there is, is a video for it, don't show it. It's just a horrible video. It's not a good video, but I want to play the song. Oh, I wait, can, did, did you make that video? No, I didn't make it. Who the fuck made it? It's just shit. It's like we, oh my god, my friend went out in bed style with blackface. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were we thinking? The first thing that what? happened, he walked, he walked two fucking feet in bedside, and the women was like, oh, 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 hell oh no, no, am I? Oh, you can't do that. What the hell? I'm like, no, no, it's just for a video. And we're we're making a point. We're we're trying to make a uh uh, I'm sorry, you cannot do that. You get your ass back inside. <laughs> It was fucking, and so that's why we the the video ended up sucking because we just had to stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I remember the fucking blackface. Oh, oh my boy. god! Sorry, that was my friend. But the me. song itself is fucking awesome, and it's really punk rock, and it does make a point. Uh, and you can go, you can go Google it. I won't play it, but go Google it. I recommend everyone listen video. to it. Like, uh, no, no, I, I just wanted to play the song, but oh, okay. You, I think you could play. There's a thing on YouTube where it's just me and a face, and you could play the song. Okay, I can look that up. It's it's in black and white, and I'm right. wearing white frame sunglasses, black and up, maybe a black white. turtleneck, and I'm also in a bathroom in that picture. I see it. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, I can just play this in the background while we're talking. Um, where's well, my That's going to be distracting for me. I'm not well, gonna I'm going to I'm gonna play it back. I don't know. Is that is that okay? That's fine. I can handle that. So yeah, what was there something special about 
the Black and White album to you when you were making it, or was it just like another album to you? Not at all. Um, I made it with my boyfriend at the time. We were completely in love. Um, we were having a fucking blast. We were cracking up about shit, and we were just pushing the limits and 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 seeing what we had within each other as creators and musicians and. Um, I think maybe it was his first album. I don't, I don't know. It was just so like I was free from a label or any sort of management jurisdiction for the first time in my mm. adult life. Yeah, it does sound like you being free. Yeah. And there's like free. there's this on it. There's like some really weird shit. There's like some pop yeah. music. Like it's got right. everything. Right. Right. Well, I threw on the pop song because I was like, bitch, you're going to have to pay the rent. And and it worked. <laughs> Wasn't it in Sex in the City you know or that, something? It, that Hey, 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 Raindrops yeah. on the Sun, that was in like a ton of shit. Like, yeah. Grey's Anatomy. I, I don't know. Um, I have four songs on Grey's Anatomy. Four different songs. <laughs> it's so weird. They're like fans <laughs> okay. over there. I sh See, that's the thing. You should... I should just be sending shit directly to people who are obviously fans of my music for their shit, you know? Why not? Uh, Rom-coms are big with Little Jackie. Um, they used to be, at least. And now nobody touches my shit because I curse too much. Right, yeah. I was going to say, and, like, and I know... I, the... And I say, and I say shit <laughs> the like, first, what, your I dick is here? small. I got... <laughs> and let's me? talk about rape. Right. Yeah, that's not very marketable. Although I yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. I, I think uh, it, I go, it, I'm going to go through Jackie a phase album. of making I'm going to go through a phase of making commercial music um, just because I have to think about my future and I can't always just do it. I, I'm not yeah. getting paid to just say whatever whenever. It would be great if I was because I don't really want to work. Right, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, well, nobody same. wants to work, but it, I'd rather just get paid for just being the fucking cantankerous curmudgeon that I am, you know. Right. So, but I'm not always. I, I, you know, I'm not always. I feel like it's a persona I put on. It's a protection mechanism. What the fuck is that? Uh oh, what is it? Oh, it's blood. <laughs> oh, it's just blood. No it's problem. just some blood. I fucking slice my uh, little finger. Again. Oh no, 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 not it, it, it is pretty bad. No, I was just aggressively cleaning the kitchen and I just uh I cut myself by accident. It, it happens. happens, I guess. Yeah. No, it really doesn't actually. <laughs> no. It really not when I'm fucking sober. That's yeah, very that's rare. True. Last time before the guar <laughs> before the guar show, you were not sober when that happened. No, I was fucking shit tanked on an empty stomach on yeah uh, and it was liquor after uh, i left your apartment the night vodka. that one of the nights that was the I last was time i drank fucking liquor dude really Me? it was the last oh, time oh uh, actually no no that isn't no but <laughs> it, it, it just i think Close one enough. one time after that but uh i just do not fuck with liquor anymore just i try to keep it as safe as I can. I know I'm going to drink, so I'm, I'm trying to do it as responsibly as I can. That's why also I don't drink outdoors either. <laughs> I don't like to drink in public. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like, unfortunately, I've kind of leaned on alcohol as a, like a, like a, like some sort of a, like a, some, a regular a way to yeah. a regular reset this is a way instead of killing yourself you're just gonna disappear for a few hours you know chemically um and it, oh, i hate to say this but it puts me on some sort of schedule like break it and now you're gonna fix it you know <laughs> what i mean and it's like you're gonna get your shit so obsessive compulsively perfect you're gonna you're just gonna break it again and that's just the cycle. I get a lot done when I'm drinking. It's not like I'm just sitting there drinking, although sometimes right. I do. But I work through it. I write. It, it it makes my choices, you know, my creative choices more uh, outgoing, you know. Unfortunately, it's a great tool. 
I'm not going to knock it. I have a fucking drinking solution. Not a problem. It's <laughs> a you solution, go. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And and thus we have that new little Jackie. <laughs> There's, um, but, I know that band was sort of like designed to be the money maker, right? Right. Because yeah. this is leading back into when I did, when we did first meet up, you were like, well, I'm doing this residency for my yeah. new project, Little Jackie. We're doing five shows at Southpaw. You want to uh -huh. come film them? And remember I filmed five shows in a of row? Of course I remember. Yeah. You were just like this yeah, yeah. weird presence that was, I was just hanging around. I was little baby Kevin back then. And uh, oh my God, I don't have even half the skills that I have now back then. Mm -hmm. So thanks for letting me be there. And you also have there. a greater sense of who you are and what you're capable of. Definitely. And a little, definitely more confidence than Yeah, you absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that came through experience. And some of that was through you, I think. Even by the last show, you wanted to be on stage. You introduced me as part of the band. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> but we never did anything with it. Why this is so funny to me. It's well. <laughs> was it? Was I joke? Obviously, I was joking, right? Well, no, you wanted the angle because the other shows I was filming off stage, and it was just like it was so small of a stage. It's like, and then this guy right behind the curtain here is Kevin, or whatever. Uh, um, props. But I, I props went, to Kevin. I digitized all those tapes, and I actually put something together from it. Fifteen <gasps> years later. Oh my god! Are you about to play it? I would like to. <gasps> You're oh gonna laugh. I, You're I'm gonna, gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I might be triggered, dude. I might this be may triggered. be a little triggering. Maybe I won't watch. Maybe Hold not. On. Maybe not in the ways you fucking, think. Ugh, triggered shit. I don't want to sound like every fucking little dipshit out there in the world, but I do get triggered easily. Play it. I want. I want to see. It's about ten reason, minutes. I want to um, reason the drink tonight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this. No. This, no. No. I don't I, want to drink I, today. It's it's really rough because it's not like a polished. I just kind of put it together for this show. Uh -huh. But oh god, I'm it's kind of it was an interesting little look back. And, okay. and we'll, you can talk over it if you want, but um, you just know, I'll put. Keep I, these I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this, dude. I don't want to talk. I'm gonna be like, but, uh, all right, are you ready? Oh god, here we go. Yes. Uh, hello, Kevin. Yes, Yo, Adam. <laughs> yeah. All right, Billy Joel time. And we will all go down <laughs> together. You don't know that one? I don't know. That I don't, slower so I can involve myself a little more emotionally and just go at my pace but it's not it's music for like a 19 year old I'm 29 it's part of it's the price you pay to eat <laughs> and pay rent thanks it's called fucking work it's all good everyone has a job this is my job I like my job I think my job is fun I guess being a little crazy sometimes, but as far as jobs go, I think I have it pretty good. Basically, I'm coming down listening to this brilliance upstairs. Yes. And I'm like, well, I could have did that, but my family's broke, and so am I. We need to make some money, because they're not going to be making money. I know. That's why I chose to do this, and I'm going <laughs> to do it with the same responsibility and respect I have for fucking real music. 
Not that I'm doing fake music. I'm doing pop music. Wow. <laughs> what? But Billy Joel was a pop artist, and I think he's a brilliant artist. I believe in make believe. I believe in make believe. Black body up on my body. I'm on my body. And just like the way it was. I have some of my death. Oh my god. So fucked up. Oops, did I just flash you my cooch? What the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, is she on drugs? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, disclaimer. I got into a car accident the other night. Um, rather, I got hit by a car the other night and um, uh, they prescribed muscle relaxers. This residency started off with the second song. This romance, what the fuck? Okay, stop. All right, next time you guys wait, wait until I'm ready. This residency started off with first night. This is the, our fourth week. The first night was nerves. The second week, I got hit by a car. The third week, I had my fucking period. Now the fourth week, I'm ready to fucking kill it, and I fall asleep. I fall asleep. I'm all on top of my game, all detoxed and healthy, and I fall asleep. Boy, do I need some backup singing. Some backup singers, in case you didn't hear me the first time. Spiel's in tune. Glock Glock My Glock, yo! Yeah. I'm gonna keep on playing until you guys come closer. And shit is gonna get dissonant. <laughs> with alcohol tonight for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sing everything in octave lower tonight. One day at a time. <laughs> Sing it in stride and do time. If I ask no questions, I have you know that. And how can I It's one like a pot of pottery, I'm gonna get a cut of pet. Don't be out of the creek. Okay, stop. Yes, bam! Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Coppola night. Crazy shit. We're fucking crazy, all of us. This is my father, John Coppola. If it wasn't for him, you want to go. Who's your father? <laughs> you. Well, the name is Coppola. We're from Brooklyn. <laughs> John Coppola. Coppola, right. The man responsible for this disaster. 
Tommy is my eldest brother. He's uh, my father's first son. I'm a brother from another mother. Brother from another mother. <laughs> my eldest brother, Tom. Thomas Coppola on the drum. Hey. And here we have my little brother, Jeff. <laughs> born on January 1st, 1980. That's right. And this is my Aunt Jane. Yeah, you can't get rid of her. This is my brother, John. John Coppola. Tell them about Jackie and George. Oh, yeah. Because Little Jackie... Getting so many burnt the woods down. Little Jackie is why I called this band... Oh, really? Little Jackie. What oh, an imp this kid was. Jackie was the kid who burned my fucking backyard down. And he blamed it on you. He blamed it on me! I'm not little Jackie. We are little Jackie. Okay? Clear that up. I will be taking questions now, so if anyone has any. So this is my mom. She uh, had me. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Give me a headache. Mom, daddy, sister and brothers and brothers and brothers and brothers and fucking brothers and another brother and another brother. This is my brother Alfie. Is AC. The Alfie. Yo, AC. And the place to be is with me and ADD. A Alfie and Dexto disorder. What up? <laughs> <laughs> I think I Yo, I got the mic. It's in my hand. Understand, I'm the man. Ooh, ooh. She was in first grade and we did a play. Monty held up the words with a big smile on her face and pirouetted off the stage. I knew then that Imani was going to be a star. Ladies and gentlemen, my first Mom. word. I swear to God, Mom, you want to tell them? No? You want, you want to keep that a secret? My first word ever uttered was fuck. Ten years when I'm done, when my face is done, when my body. Ten years. I'm gonna be writing songs and making money still, so. Ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Ten Please. years. Twenty nine. Just I'm gonna be fucking forty, singing like Madonna. Fuck that. She looks like grandma in tights. You... And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Let me go home and take a bath. Have a very wonderful night. Then I was gonna play the vagina mite video. Oh my God, Kevin. This is give. This is my brain is breaking right now. This is like a lifetime ago. I called the mannequin. I don't even know who she is. She like half tonight. clearly to me. Who is like, that? I don't remember ever having that much confidence. Like my ego has been so fucking bludgeoned since whoever that person was. It's really you hard haven't to done watch. many live shows since then either. Like no. And, and I have Maybe a, like one? a weird, I have like a fucking phobia of the stage now. Because it's just been so long, you know? I've been so fucking isolated. It's hard for me to be in a room with people, let alone on a fucking stage owning that shit. I don't know how I was ever that comfortable. I'm surprised I didn't like take a dump on stage, you know? It's just seemed completely in my element. And it's like, like, I miss that freedom, you know? Maybe you need to force yourself back on stage. I'll be in your That's band. I've always it's... said that. Ah, oh, this is giving me a headache. Okay, look. It requires money. I know. That's It the requires problem. money to... I do not like to have musician slaves. I'm not that bitch. I, I always do. paid my musicians. I try to do this. Um, and it also requires, you know rehearsal i'm a perfectionist it's someone to man a computer uh you know there's just a lot of fucking elements and there are a lot of parts in my music too string parts horn parts mm -hmm. you know it, it, vocals i hate being the only singer there's fucking a million vocals in all of my songs right. why am yeah. i the only one singing so many reasons so many fucking reasons That's like fair. those no, are valid there's no support there's no support there's no management there's no agent there's no one booking there's no promoter no tour bus there's no fucking van like i don't even have a car i have a bike i get a bike to my fucking gigs most is like i i'm there's just a very long list i miss it like fucking crazy i have dreams about it all the time being on stage and not being prepared unfortunately like I never know the set, the band is unrehearsed. 
I don't know what I'm wearing. I fucking don't have any makeup on and I got to get out. Um, it's always a disaster, like a, like a, um, anxiety dream, but trust me, man, I, I fucking oh, grew I up believe on a you, stage. Yeah. I, I miss it. Like, I miss it. Like not even just performing. I was in orchestras since I was six, you know, that's, that's where I live. That's where I fucking live and I don't get to do it. And it's heartbreaking. And I, I'm, I am triggered, but for the wrong reasons the reasons i didn't yeah that's what i said i was like you may be triggered but i don't think it's for yeah what i'm you triggered think it for is. different reasons it just i feel really lucky to have any evidence that i used to be that person because there's not much live shit of you know me playing live well, I I was, all five I was, of those shows i on was tape. pre-digital i was pre-fucking yeah. internet so i don't have that shit you know and Every now and then I see it and I see what I was and I was just like, no wonder you're so fucked in the head and depressed. Like you don't get to truly be in your element at, anymore. Like you don't get to exist, you know, in, in like how I, I feel like I should be existing. There's no reason I should be in a house all fucking day or an apartment like alone. You're literally in the know? bathtub right now. <laughs> I'm not in the bathtub. I'm oh, on okay. the toilet. Oh, you're on. Place. You're literally on the toilet right now. And I've tried to make it work for myself, but honestly, I think that's one of the reasons I drink. It's because I don't. I don't get to that outlet anymore, where you don't need to drink. You just. You're fucking. You are drunk. You're drunk on the fact that you're performing. It's a drug, dude. The audience is loving it. They're laughing at it. Like I. It just surprises me that I had support at one point in my life. It's, it's just really weird to see because if you heard my internal voice all the time, like my new internal voice, it it is not a healthy internal voice, dude. Like, do you whew. think your internal voice was different at that time? Well. I had, it, it's different because I was, there's always a duality. Um, there's always like, I, I, I had a huge fuck you spirit at that time toward the label, toward the dude that just dumped me. You know, I had an ego. My ego was definitely intact back then. Um, and the greatest revenge is success. And right. I was getting another chance at being in the limelight and it wasn't <sighs> and um i didn't think i would get that chance again and i was like fuck you here it is watch me and and uh i don't know maybe i've been waiting for <laughs> a third wind <laughs> it's time now is the time I see but that I, confidence I in that fucking vagina mite video, okay? I don't have the energy. I don't energy have the energy. Is a different and then question. I gotta get over my fucking bullshit stage fright, which it's funny. I it's all in my head. I feel as like soon as I'm the on second a, you're on the stage, as soon as I'm on a stage, be, it's just it's yeah. This, I think this goes so away. too. Yeah. It's, there's just too much I have too much time in my head and alone and, and it you build up these irrational fucking fears. It's so dumb. It's pretty dumb. But some part of me feels like I do it just to give myself something to do. I just need to focus on stuff. I think I need to get back into another album, focus on just music, making more music. I want to do some writing. I want to do some screenwriting. Um, hmm. You know, obviously, probably have to do another art show at some point. To, like, yes, and keep... she paints too. Go buy some Amani Coppola paintings. Yeah, buy a painting. Don't just fucking like it. Buy it, bitch. No. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta tell him. See, there's that confidence. <gasps> Kevin, you totally fucking spooked me, dude. That like fucked with my head a little. I hope for the better. Do you know that? <laughs> I don't know. There was I a don't period know. It's where something, I couldn't. Though. I couldn't go and see a live show because I would fucking leave the venue in tears because I fucking missed being on stage like so much. It really hurt to see people just enjoying life and that's 
that's really the only place where I'm truly fucking happy. I'm and sparking like, something here. No, it's not going to happen. It's just depressing me because I have no means oh, yeah. of getting them. Well, I got to get a fuck. I got to play the acoustic guitar. I fucking hate that thing. No, I let's fucking not do hate that. playing the acoustic guitar. I hate the asshole on the stage singing the fucking acoustic guitar. No, you need a rock it. band behind you. I yeah, I need yeah, I need to be I need a fucking drummer. It, I, honestly, yeah, drummers 100%. If I only had a drummer, I'd be happy. That way I could fucking play a note here and there. We could Whatever. be a three piece. Oh. You find one drummer and we're we we got a band. Probably a guitar right. player too, but we don't need it necessarily. I want to do this, Kevin. You have I don't want to do a, it in New York though. Fuck that's New fair. York. That's fair. Yeah, Good. fuck New York. I want to do it in some bullshit towns in America where we can have a fucking blast and just show people something they've never seen in their life and they never let's, will again. Let's book a tour this summer and just fucking do it. <laughs> okay, I'm down. Do you have a car? I don't... Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah? I'm in the suburbs now. I gotta drive. Okay. You know, yeah, we I did could probably some, make a little I did some money. Green Jelly shows this summer, so... Right, you did. How did that go? Um, <laughs> hilarious. I mean, yeah, that that's a whole other that whole situation is just like very unique in its own way because so a, a while ago he started doing franchise bands, kind of like you know, like every he would just show up with his <laughs> costumes in the city and then he would have a band ready to go. And then after COVID, <laughs> now it's Anybody who's ever been in the band, if you can make the show, just like show up and do the show. So there was like 30 right. of us at every show. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just like a guitar orchestra. Like it was just, it was so ridiculous. There was no distinction about it, but it was so, it's like you're part of a machine and it's fun. Like it's just so stupid. Sorry, so, I had a time cough. You know. It definitely cost me to go there. I wasn't getting paid for it or anything, but I did right. it for the fun, and I just wanted to get back on stage too. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just do like, it. Like I hadn't for that played reason. a show yeah. since like 2016, maybe. It gets scary. It gets fucking scary. Like I've, I've obviously I've been side people on the stage. I backups yeah. or violin, but my own show, um, I have not. Fuck, man, I'm like really embarrassed to say. Maybe like eh, eh, 2000 fucking 10. Yeah, I feel like that, it's been 12 years. I feel like I would have been at any show that you've done since then. And I don't think there has been any. I think the last time I, I think the only time I ever saw you under not Little Jackie, just Imani Coppola was. Maybe at the living room, that place next to the cake shop. Does that ring yeah, a bell? Room. Yeah, sure. I think I saw you play oh. there once. I don't remember it much. You played a song about being a ninja. Either. Oh, I know karate. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> is that on the new the the, the new release? That is on the sixty. Oh, good. Sixty dollar album. <laughs> and someone was asking. My brother was asking, "What are you, Buckethead? Sixty songs in three days? No, this is all old material. It's all old, um, out of print." stuff what is a bucket head is that like a meth addict or something bucket head he is a like one of the best guitar players in the world he oh. wears the mask and the bucket he used to be in <laughs> guns and roses he started his career playing shows with like mr bungle and stuff like him and mike oh, are actually buddies that's cool yeah i was chatting with mike the other day yeah how is well not the other day mike? maybe two weeks ago <laughs> uh what is that I thought it was, a, you know, I hallucinate shadows of rats all the time. You like, yeah, I didn't want to make this show about Mike Patton, but how did you get into the Mike Patton business? No. Aww. <laughs> well, that's, that was my entry point for you. Oh, so. well, actually, you're talking about the business. You're not talking about the scandalous affair that we had. Um. Sure. The actual... I heard nothing. I don't know nothing. I, I see know. nothing. In, ugh, whatever. People probably know already. Whatever. I didn't know. Um, <laughs> well, I don't pretend I didn't really? hear that one. Good. 
that's good. I I could keep some secrets. I'm I'm happy about that. Um, I got involved through Dan the Automator, who was supposed to produce an album or a few tracks mm. for me once, and we had you know a meeting. And uh, Head Automatica, and, that album is fucking awesome. Which one? Head Automatica is an album. He oh produced. yeah, yeah. That's oh true. my god, it's so yeah. good. Um, so Dan, Mike was looking, Dan had worked with Mike a lot on the Peeping Tom record and, uh, Mike was looking for a singer to, to cover, actually it was the Conan O'Brien show, um, because he was using one of the singers from Chivo Mato, but okay. she was having a fucking mm. green card issue or mm. a visa issue. I guess that lucky for me, you know, America was being a dick. And Dan was like, well, check out Imani Coppola, you know? And so I was only supposed to be doing that Conan show. Hmm. And uh, he ended up inviting me on tour. And uh, I was excited. I, I wanted to uh, get the fuck out of Brooklyn for a second. It was nice yeah. to be on the road. It's, it's look, touring is not easy, especially no. if you're like the only girl in the fucking crew, you know? Maybe there was another girl. There was the the the, uh, the front of house engineer was a woman. Um, it's hard. It's hard. It's long nights, dirty fucking parking lots, beer everywhere, and his fans are gross. I'm sorry, mm. the fucking gross. I, I don't defend. Don't yeah, I don't defend dick, that. Dude. Right, and I have some. I have some photos. I think. Yeah. That's that Conan. That's that NBC uh, Rockefeller or whatever, 30 Rock. Yeah, these are from the show that I went to. These are my pictures. That, Not that good looks pictures. like Warsaw. Oh, yeah, this God. is Warsaw. That, that, was a, that was a tough show for me. Was it uh, really? You know, because there was this dynamic that Mike and I had where we were just having these, like, these lover spats, you know? And, uh, which made it and or you know some nights i watch him taking girls into his fucking room and i just had to sit there and shut the fuck up about it it was hard it was it was fucking really hard for both of us dude and at one point he just fired me it was really? like, it was like, it was like josh had dumped me because he found out or i told him he had dreams about it and then <laughs> i just told him the truth because i felt like shit about it Anyway, Josh dumped me and Mike fired me within the same day, I think. Oof. And oh, dude, I was I was so manic that night. I I think I, I I just had sex with two strangers that night. I was homeless. I didn't have anywhere to go. So like, yeah, fuck my. I want to me. ask a follow up and, question, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> Ask away. I don't care. I I'm mean, the at the same right time now. or separately? <laughs> no, not at the same time. And I, I'm not even sure if that's true. I just remember right. maybe kissing story. one dude and fucking some other dude. I, I just, or it was such a blur that whole time. He fired me and then he rehired me. And he was just like, look, we got to cut out like the, the fucking around bullshit because, um, you know, this is work. And mm -hmm. yes, I agreed. And yeah and that adding that element although i'm i'm just i'm all for just mind fucking myself in life just to get songs out of it and just to make things more interesting because i generally am bored did you and get some songs out of this yeah sure did i go yeah 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 i did i did it was hard it was hard because uh i had i was working on those songs with the boyfriend who just right. got cheated on you know so that made for another fucking crazy ass and then the dynamic. album he produced was put out on his label on on mike's label yeah yeah so there you go that's that's the whole messiness of it all wow i had no beautiful idea beautiful mess of it all you yeah. never told me this i never asked that's, well because i was very i felt i needed to keep it very just because, it, but now Josh is married. He's in a happy marriage. We're, we're everyone's friends. We're yeah, fine. We're, one we're of the over last it. times I saw you was Me at and the Mike Mr. Are Bungle still cool. Show. Yeah, like we're we're still having, you know, 
<laughs> we're still texting and we still have the hots for each other and it's cute um but he's a fucking fan of mine you know he and he he like I the vagina mite video he, he sent it to 10 of his friends he said you know he just said these really amazing things and encouraging and it's and, and i fucking admire the fuck out of him as a musician you know um i'm not one of those people who walk around saying my pet is gone right yeah yeah that's like he's got a le different I, level of fandom yeah i weird. here actually i would love but every yeah, now and then i'm like my spotify shit is on just like whatever random shit and i hear a song i'm like ah and i go and look and it's like oh fucking mike god damn it <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's always like mike he does he He's doing special shit. He's really, he's he's touched by some beautiful musical force. Yeah, I mean, very I, lucky. I'm not at that level of his fandom. Like I know he has, but right, his, some of the music he's made has made significant impacts on my life. Right, right. I mean, I found it. I was gonna play it, but I kind of lost the placing of it. But I got this tape when I was like seven years old for Christmas or something like that. And it's what just like now? the real thing, Faith No More, like their big album. And I mean, is, it's is that with uh, Epic on it? Epic, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was obsessed with that song. When I was Who up. wasn't? I mean, because it was, it was the first awesome. time we had at like MTV. Yeah. And, and that they were just playing that shit all the time, and I was exactly. Like, <laughs> it's just totally mesmerizing. Yeah, most mostly that piano part and the fish at the end and the fucking piano blowing up. It's just mm -hmm. just permanently etched in my brain. Yeah, incredible. And the whole album's just like mind blowing. Still, I, I think, think it holds up. If you hadn't severely triggered me by that footage of me playing <laughs> Little Jack, I would never have gotten into that with you. But I felt completely exposed and and like. Uh, I bring something out of you, Imani. I don't know why. It's it's just I don't know. You're Kevin. Oh. Like I get to just I get to pick on you. I get to make fun of you. You don't get mad. You don't really have like a. I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings. Like <laughs> yeah, that's rolling. true. <laughs> you notice what I don't have in my hair. You're blue, yay! That's right. That night, I was just like, "Dude, get rid of the blue hair." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <coughs> uh, and I listen, did. I'm I not saying did. it's gonna and be I'm forever. I'm very proud of you. If do, do something different, be green. Um, listen, <laughs> it fades to green. That's what happens. If we're an hour and a half in, and people have absolutely no attention spans, and I don't either, and I'm really ready for that cigarette. And I feel like I've been triggered twice. Is there anything else you want, is, you want to cover? I know you said these things go long. Yeah, but well, that's fine. I mean, we did do over an hour. Um, yeah, let me touch on a couple quick topics. Okay, cool. Um, there's things that I just, I feel like it would be stupid not to ask you. All right. A, and I don't even know if you have much to say about this, but we do share something else in common. I know, I love that. <laughs> I always forget that too. I graduated from SUNY Purchase. You I did not, did not graduate. But I, for good I reason, I'd out. say. Yeah. I, yeah, because you I were got a signed pop to star. Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> and and my management at the time was like, you gotta drop out of school. I didn't want to. It's like, no, you gotta focus on your career now. What the fuck are you going to music school for if you're doing it professionally? And, and thus, you know anyone who's thus, here for Legend of a Cowgirl, here's the Legend of a Cowgirl part. <laughs> Oh, oh God, I thought you were going to play the video. I was like, oh. I could <laughs> click. <laughs> is that, is, is that triggering? Is that video triggering? It's just, uh, it's just not really. It's like what, over like what's your relationship to Chupacabra now? Like how many, 20 um, years? Every now later? and then I like, I, when I, it's, it's cute. It's like, oh, I was a baby then. Like I didn't even know. Yeah. How what were you talk. like 17 or 18? I was 18, 19. Um, those songs were written 18, 19, mm -hmm. and, uh, I went from, you know, uh, being a dorky fucking overweight fucking college kid, um, in, in secondhand polyester shirts and like oversized jeans 
just schlepping around campus eating pints of ice cream and Doritos at night to being a fucking pop star within like three months, dude. How did you get on <laughs> the Columbia radar? Traumatizing. Oh, this is not a conversation I want to. It's just too, and it's just, there's too much to cover. And actually, and I'm about to go to bed, and I don't want to have yeah, bad feelings. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Well, I, I want to know what your experience at Purchase was in your short time there. Was, and oh, was there um, a cool music I, scene? Is that where you met oh, Doofus? It was fucking awesome. It, it was awesome. And uh, it, it was, I guess, that's where I met Doofus. Um, it, it was just, have I lost my ability to speak? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> my Britain done. Just done. Um, okay, so I started out as a violin performance major, and it was very uptight, the conservatory for um, classical music. I was competing with uh, three other, sorry, Asians, you know, the fucking, the, the classical music industry is dominated by, you know, Asians, who, Koreans, okay, fine, Indians, <laughs> Turkish people, sorry, I'm being a dick. Um, I just don't want to get shit. Yes, I do. Give me shit, please. Um, I was just gonna be, I couldn't get in the fucking practice room. They put, I went from first chair, first violin in concert master in high school to last seat, second violin. And they wanted to reteach me how to play the violin because I didn't have formal violin lessons growing up, like consistently. Mm -hmm we got them when we could afford them you know when my dad would barter for them like do carpentry work so i could get a violin lesson but i didn't have them consistently so a lot of it i it was self-taught you know and everything was wrong they wanted to correct my posture my my hand positioning my bow grip everything and it it i just didn't want to start from the beginning anymore i i just didn't want to do it i was and I was, I wanted to be in music, but I just, I just, I was just happy to be at that college. The, right. You know, the violin like a was, a, it was, it was a way in, and there was just so much to explore. There was the film department, which is great. Which the I got rejected acting, from. <laughs> no shit. Really. Yeah, that, I would have been there for four years if I got into the film department, but I transferred in on some bullshit liberal arts major. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that sucks. I'm sorry for you. That that would have been fucking great for you. Thank you. Yeah. I they it's a very limited. They take like a hundred people or less. Ah. So it's very competitive. Okay. And, well, and I, I, honestly, my stuff was not that great that back then. Right. So. But how do you how do they expect people to be great at, right, right off the know, bat in high tough. school? You know. So I went from uh, I went from classical performance i went to the dean it was very dramatic i told him look i'm gonna fucking kill myself if i have to stay in this conservatory is there is there some some way i could stay in in the music department and he's like let me show you to let me take you let me take you for a walk to the third floor the Never jazz go to the second location. department and the oh. uh, the composition jazz where everyone was fucking cool people were smoking cigarettes in the freaking hallway walking around barefoot mm, composition like, yeah it was just like whoa i'm home right yeah it was like i see like you're a songwriter right i didn't know that i didn't know what the fuck i thought it was uh, you know i thought i was gonna write musical theater you know i thought i was gonna write that would be awesome. You should write music. No, <laughs> Ugh, I do already. I have to concertedly you... try not to be musical theater fucking fag when I write, because I'm just so from that, you know. Right. Yeah. Like my favorite musical is Hair. Little Shop of Horrors. Like I listen to that shit like once a week, dude, and I sing through it and I sing all of the characters. Oh, yeah, I love it. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. Spirit. I get so high off of that shit. I am musical theater fucking dork forever. But I, I just uh, I think writing you could a musical. Write something great for that, yeah. I. But the thing is, I don't want to compete with Broadway. You think the music right. industry is shysty? Right, fucking right, try right. Broadway out, man. Yeah, rent a and Broadway then, theater. Try that. Not, budget. I, I did do some co-writing with like uh, Cindy Lauper. 
right or a few yeah. like ne- they never used the shit but mm. whatever it was like well, I know you played with her. There is an in. There, there is an in if I want to go down that route eventually. But I saw uh, Kinky Boots. Yeah. Um, however, I, I just, you know, I'm not, I'm not good at like writers' rooms and focus right, groups right, and all right. that shit. I'm just, I'm just not. I gotta honor who I am, and, and let's the make fact that like fuck the theater. Let's make a musical movie. movie. Yeah. Just putting it out there. This is my attention span just going. Okay, you want to switch topics? Uh, like, I got so I got a few it's I got a few more topics. quick. I want to switch phone off, pee, yeah. go to bed, take a clonopin. All right. Well, I one. would well, I should really cut it down. What actually I, I want a cigarette. I want a cigarette. I got to do that. What right, happens gonna, is I, land I, this I, plane. Okay. I have to ask you about this. Sure. I think I asked you once and I wasn't <laughs> sure if you were serious or not because you had no idea what I was talking about. But I have to ask you about this. The fuck is it? (laughs) That's interesting. Do you know who Andrew WK is? No. You know the Party Hard song? Party Hard, the party guy, pizza, guitar? No. No? You're on this. What? You're on this EP. Where? Look, I have a... I think I put this in a slide. Look. Amani Coppola, do you see it? On what? I'm not I, sure. I, That's what I'm asking you. No, but is it saying Imani on vocals, guitar, oh, violin? Violin, I can't see violin shit. and additional strings. Who is that? Andrew Dude, WK is like the Andy Kaufman of our generation. He's been around for 20 something years now. He's the party guy. He's sort of like um it's uh, well, it's when such was this put it's out? such a rabbit hole. This came out, let's see. I want to say something like, you know, probably 2010-ish era. 2011. Fuck am I on this album? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because he's like, he's like a cult legend. And like, I actually used to do a show just about him. That's crazy. I'm going to have to listen to this. Is this an EP? It's an EP. It was only Four. released in Japan, so I don't know if you it, can find it. There's four songs it. on it? Uh, there's seven songs on it. I'll have to listen to let, it and figure out why I'm let's on see. it. This, let's see if any of the credits ring a bell for you. Okay. The Lodge, New York City, recorded at Guardian Sound and Skyscraper Studio in Manhattan. Um, the Lodge sounds familiar. Let's see. Don Fleming... Greg really no anything <laughs> this is such a mystery within a mystery because I'm fascinated with Andrew WK and you're on his fucking album and you have no idea who the fuck he is oh god there there's like so a whole like conspiracy theory life. hole about him he's like married to Kat Dennings now I don't know who that is she's an actress this she's in the Thor movies two broke girls um, you ever see Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist? I try not to watch that one. She's the it, lead. Because yeah. I, it, there's music in it and music triggers me. <laughs> well, we gotta, we gotta solve this Andrew WK mystery because you're on I one like of his it. fucking records. And I, I love that there's a mystery that... The... Here, let me, um, I have a, a little intro for the show that I did for him and see if okay. it sparks anything. I okay. mean, maybe you never even met the dude. You I, probably I love just that did a studio I have session. this amnesia. Yeah. Anything that wasn't his music, that was me. That was me playing in style of Andrew I don't WK. care. I am this, I'm even more baffled. Like, yeah. I had more of a clue before, and now I'm just like, he's no he's idea. like a cult icon. 
I had no idea. And he used to <laughs> he used to co own um he used to co own Santos Party House. I which, that that rings a bell. It was a venue in like um like Canal Street. Yeah, yeah, that rings a bell. That, that was my day. I had a little day of after hours. Yeah, he owned he co owned that ecstasy. place. And I like bet. rubbing elbows with celebrities. Oh boy. Well, I think we could basically <laughs> end it on that. I do have um another be- this is a lot shorter one, but I, I have a behind the scenes of the um what song uh what's the little Jackie, the first single? The world um, The World Should Revolve Around Me. I showed so this is short, I'll just start playing. Um today we walked around Williamsburg looked cool all day. <laughs> That's pretty much all we did. <laughs> um, it was fun. Rosie Perez fucking sat in at one point. She sat on the stoop and did a little cameo, a cam- cam- cameo in my video. Yeah, don't mind me. I might just space out and <laughs> continue spacing out. <laughs> yep, that's what happened. It's like getting a tattoo. It's like pain. It's grueling. It lasts forever. It's cool. You know, everyone gets a little loopy, but we we were lucky enough to be around a lot of spirited people today, a lot of uh, youthful, raw, like, skaters and, and uh, BMX riders. And, you know, we're in Williamsburg, coolest place, New York. What's up? My name's Hannah Rad. I'm here for the Little Jackie video soon. Where can you do that? Oh, gosh! Let me get the tape. I'm just really excited to get out of here at this point. Been in heels all day. Feeling a little fat. See? Ready to go. Fart a lot. <laughs> go home and fart <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. It's our temper. It's my best friend. Seven, eight. Hey, what's going on? I'm Jeff Coppola. I mean, Monty's brother. I don't know how she says it. I say Coppola. Yeah, that's why I said it both ways at the beginning, because I found all this footage. But, uh, I'm Imani's youngest brother. And I'm here. Why is he talking the like that? For, uh, the world Does he not talk me. like that? It's the no. joint from Little Jack. <laughs> he was branding. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first Dude. experience. You know, um, I think he's trying tomorrow. to sound like more street than he. First time being in a video. Fucking Long Island boy. Yeah, yeah I know. You're from Long Island. Jeff, because I'm done with the shit. Yo, my snare sucks. Grabbing for my straight beat box. Too, but need a detox because my flow was so sick. Y'all slow like y'all. Ooh, I'm not going to say that because that would be some racist <laughs> disgrace to the race. You got to have faith. So <laughs> Adam. As you can see, I'm fucking out of my mind right now. But, uh. Hi. Um. End of the day. This is our last shot. What do they call it? This is the last shot. Oh, the, the martini shot? Yeah. I think it's like martini or something. It's the last shot of the day. <laughs> oh, it's up to That's it. Thank you for sharing that, man. You just brought me back to just a uh, and those were our first projects together that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah, I forgot that you even did them. My head really hurts. I had no idea this was going to be that intense. I'm sorry. It's always intense. No, no, for me. It, it's good. I need to be reminded. I I feel like I don't. Yo, you're exist. awesome. I need to remind you that you're it's awesome. It's not even that. I just don't feel like I'm fucking on this planet anymore. It's just like I don't know. I don't want to end on like a sour note. I'm not sour. I'm not bitter. I just don't. I feel like um, I exist right now. Well, I beg to differ because 
that new I, like I, I said that disappear. new little Jackie stuff I think is like top of your game. It's great. Who's it's gonna fucking, fucking awesome. hear it ever? That's, right. Look, I don't, Go to I don't band camp. <laughs> Let's figure out a, a happy way to end this because I, well, I figure I'd play it out. I want to go to bed in good spirits. Yeah. I want to go to bed and I just want to thank the two watchers who who watched. Thank yeah. you. There's like for maybe putting four. up with my crass fucking potty mouth. Um, maybe there's a way we could export this and and I could. Is there any way? This, or is it? Yes, and it also it's gonna live on YouTube after this. Like it's automatically on YouTube. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. if you export it, um, it would be nice to yeah. To let I download them. Witness all. that I I used to be like a. a an active performer. I yeah, and I can clip that out too. Any of know. my followers have ever known me to be someone who plays live shows and it sucks. They just see me as a crazy woman. Well, we're going to go on now, tour they're this gonna, summer. They're, I just want them to understand where it comes from. Like, I used to have a stage where it was totally acceptable. <laughs> we're going on tour this summer. Fuck yeah. yeah we're yeah. having the shit on a high note. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting in your car, you're getting a drummer. Yes. Go to Airbnb this fucking little Jackie band camp and check it out. It's so funny. It's on Spotify and everything, too. Thank you. And there's two EPs. And then you have your demos album that you just put out. Your fuck it. I'm just going to have a cigarette. DIY. Yeah. yeah. yeah just keep have on your talking. cigarette. I'm just, fuck it. I, I don't want to rush you off the phone because I'm. No, no, no. I think a cigarette. this is basically oh, the end, goodness, I think. <laughs> oh. You broke my head, dude. That shit. Uh, I figured I'd play this out with the <laughs> Lying to My Therapist video. Sure, yes. Directed by you, motherfucker, and kind of me. Yeah, I showed up. I showed up. That's that's how I usually I work. Shit. I show up with my camera, and I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Right. And then and I roll with I. it. And then we make some something cool out of it. I just got dizzy. You really, uh... Ugh. Loops and this is the only part of the documentary I, I, that's look, public I want right you, now. I, I really appreciate you, Kevin. Oh, thank you. Like, I'm sorry if I've ever taken you for granted. You, I, I forget how much you were present for a huge part of my artistic life, you know? With I've, the camera. I've, I'm a reoccurring character. All right, we need to put that uh, uh, imitation of insanity shit back on. That's yeah, important. let's... Um, I, I, I'm not going to censor that anymore. I'm not trying to date. I'm fucking over it. It's it was in a film festival. <laughs> Neither of us went to it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it was. Uh, it's raw. It's crazy. I. I. I totally did not even question why it wasn't on YouTube anymore. I get it. It's raw. It's. Okay. It's embarrassing. It's. It's all the things. It's. It's, it's you <laughs> on the toilet. Toilet again. Yeah, yeah, but no, I was like, that's totally not the first unhinged. time we've been there. It's totally unhinged. I think I would, I drank through the whole process of it. So, no, there was some sober moments, I think. But I feel like we could add something to it and like re release it. I feel like it doesn't really have a proper ending, but we could talk about that off air. Oh, yeah, the ending is a little clunky. Yeah, the ending is clunky. It just I'm in it a seemed new place. like it wasn't. Yeah, I feel like, like we should just edit the ending, and just leave it on like a weird note. <laughs> okay, dude, that's good. Yeah. Oh, good. My AirPods are dying. Oh well, that's that's Time a good to go. reason to. <laughs> so let's. I'll play. We can talk commentary over the uh, therapist video, which is short, and then we're, we'll end this thing. Awesome. To my therapist, to my therapist. Yes. She thinks I am an this was an interesting apartment. Sex. She thinks I'm out there. Today. Roach Hotel. Yeah, and this is where we filmed all the documentary things. So. I lost my mind in that place. My brother died. Mm -hmm. That was a hard time. Yeah, it was a lot. There was a lot going on in that documentary yeah, so time much. period. I was in this abusive, fucking weird relationship. Not even a relationship. We weren't even dating, dude, and we were physically fighting. <laughs> yeah, fuck just, that. Just fuck that. Low life fucking drunk shit, man. Ugh. I hate this. Those were not the days. No, but that's why it's so interesting to document, though, because it's over. Right. That era is over. It is, and that's where I wrote the protagonist. Right. 
Hey, I just plugged myself. Hey. Yeah. You still have CDs to sell? Go buy a protagonist CD. Yeah, I have a few. Nobody has a CD player, dude. I know, trust me, the struggle is real. Yeah. And, and vinyl's doing really well. Yeah. Ooh, I told it... you my energy was gonna go down after I smoked. Well, that's okay. I like bring this it up, video. Bring it up. This was Come a lot on. of fun. That was fun. See? I mean, it was exhausting. I was walking yeah. around. Yeah. This is like okay. the opposite of the Legend of a Cowgirl video. <laughs> right. You know, I am lucky to, to not have a label. You know, not have a manager, not have a publisher. I get to do whatever the fuck I want, dude. Oh, and there was and a maybe. I, uh, and I am grateful for that. I am grateful. Um, yeah, so then, Sorry. What's next? Are you gonna? Are you writing new stuff, or what's what's the um, next phase? Yeah, I'm always writing. Um, right now, I'm writing cat songs for my cat every morning. But am I sitting? That down could be focused? a whole album. Trust me, there would be a market for cat songs. I'm sure they're out there. Yeah, um, but not by you. True. I want to do a guided meditation where I'm just like, you're right. Everything sucks. Breathe in, breathe out. What? It doesn't sound positive. <laughs> nah, it's, it's an Imani guided meditation. Yeah, yeah. You know what you're going to get. You're right about life. It's shit. Um, nah, it, it isn't. Life is uh, wonderful. Do I hear a kitty? Is that Espy? Is Hi, that your baby. side bitch? Can you tell the people about your side bitch cat? Because it's so fascinating. I've I've seen it firsthand, but no, it, it's no. deep. It's no, I mean like side bitch is a cat that comes over and you know she comes in, makes herself very much at home, drinks out of the toilet bowl, just like it, appears in the window, pisses in the litter in. box. Yeah. And one day I put a note on because this was during her. COVID. I did. I put a fucking collar on her with my phone number on it, and I only had. Uh, I only I could only use a like a certain amount of what do they call it? Um, type, mm -hmm. whatever copy, whatever uh, letters, letters. Hey, how about call it letters or numbers? Um, Did you so I, I said this your cat no question mark and my phone number, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and uh, they called me two hours later. They're like, uh, my cat just came back. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, you're Espy's mom. And we talked and we fucking cracked up. I sent pictures of Espy just like having a having a did they have a, did they have any idea that it was just they disappearing? Had no and... fucking idea. They what are they no out at work idea. and it's just, just like coming to your life. place? Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Eating extra meals, you know. Yeah, you were um, feeding that cat. You still are feeding yeah, I still that cat. Feed, yeah, I, I snack that bitch up. I love it. Um, and is, does is maybe but, territorial with it? Or? Oh, very much. But um, the the deeper element to this side bitch fucking saga is my sister somehow knows her father. What? <laughs> he's he's like a very talented fucking drummer. He's a very talented musician. Really? Does he want to go on tour? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, he's he's on tour right now. He's like one of those, you know, he working cats. Paid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those bastards, those fuckers. I'll get a gig again. Yeah. It'll happen. I'm not too worried. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm, well, I do this all day. It's back and forth. I have moments where I'm like, yeah, I got this. I'm fine. I'm still doing it. I mean, the there material is there. For sure. You have, I, if you put together a set list, like a sort of a greatest hits, not greatest hits, but like whatever's appropriate for those musicians, yeah. you would have a killer set list. It's just what songs do I choose? Woke Up White is number one. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe you curate that set list. I could curate, I could curate that. Yeah. Okay. You do that. And it's bedtime for me for sure. Yes. Right I now. think we did it. We, it's, about 30 seconds to two hours. We totally did it. I will let you go. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, you for being on my album again. Welcome to my pity party. 
Go stream it. It's on TikTok. Go make some fucking viral videos of me on TikTok or whatever. I don't know what they keep, do on TikTok. They dance or something. Keep trying. I, I can't do either. it myself, but if one of those influencers out there wants Can't to take my music. Can we just comfortably get old? Can't we just comfortably become mature adults? Or do we have to stay fucking 20 forever? Arrested fucking development because we're independent artists. It's exhausting. Aren't you tired? Always. Aren't you tired? Yeah, I am so tired of the hustle and I haven't one even One day you're going to be like, <laughs> fuck it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just, I want... I'm trying to push through. And I'm so disoriented about like my position in life, like out of that world. It's like I, it's, it's existential crisis, like every moment of the day, you know. Should I it's grow It's like up? a blessing and a curse because I just don't know how to stop, but I also it's right. like is Same. this doing me any good no is exactly. it spending is it costing me lots of money yes yes yeah. is it going anywhere no no but i have i have to <laughs> do it for do myself it. anyways you, you get it yeah, you, you get it died. yeah fuck that. so now it's like well people... might as well put it out because exactly fuck it. it's not a choice it's a matter of life and fucking death for us you know that's just that's that's a real artist in in my definition of an artist you have to do it you know, you're not doing it because you want to do it. You fucking just have to, whether you're getting paid or not. You just got to do exactly. it. Exactly. I think that's the perfect closing statement. Yay! Good. My head is pounding. From yes. Thank all you the so trauma. much. <laughs> uh, go like and share and subscribe and do all those things. Drop dollars, bitches. For me, likes. for Imani, Imani Coppola.bandcamp.com, littlejackie.bandcamp.com. At Imani Coppola on Instagram. There's an art one. Go buy some art. Shut up. All right. Let's leave it at shut up, okay? Shut up. Goodbye. I love you, Kevin. That's I it. love you. Yeah, let's I, get together what do we do? soon. I just, I just leave. Press the uh, button, I'm going to play it. a little outro video, which okay, is another cool. will, um, Andrew WK inspired that. song. Nice. And then, um, and then it'll be over. Okay. So this it. is it. This is it for us. All right. Last words right now. Bye. Like, share, subscribe.